Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. This is the third part of our health system for our player. And when we last left off, we put in a background, we put in a slider, and we changed the colors of all those, and they've all been customized. Now in this third part, what we want to do is right away, we want to get some text in here that corresponds with the number or percentage of health that you have overall. So I'm going to come over to my UI. Now, please remember that the UI is your canvas. We renamed that in the previous tutorial. And that the background is the actual plus sign graphic here that we've got. And that the slider is actually the green slider that's in the front. So if I go to the slider and I check the levels of everything, you can see all of that and how it interacts. Now the next part is we want to add that text. So we go back to the canvas, we select that. We're going to right click on here and we're going to create in the UI some text. Okay. Now, this text is going to probably be in the middle of everything, and there it is. So let's go ahead and move that over here so that we can start working on that. And I'm going to bring that over and bring that up into our text area. And now let's go ahead and resize this right away so that it fits in there. And I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to just take this and very carefully resize the text box so that it fits into our slider area. And there we go. Now, with the text selected, I'm going to come over to the text script and I'm going to start changing some stuff here. First off, I'm going to make this out of 100%. And it's important that we put that percent in there because the code is going to reference that. And um, then we're going to go ahead and take the font size and dial that up until it just barely fits in there. We're going to put the alignment to the middle and to the center of the line. And now we are pretty good with all of that. Rich text, best fit, and we've got that. Let's take that off there so it's actually in there. And yeah, this is all looking good. Now this text we're going to rename in our layers. And I'm just going to click in here again, and I'm going to call this health text, and like that. And this is going to correspond with our... Um, our script that we're about to drag onto our player. Now, depending on when you join the tutorial series here, if you've been with us from the beginning, you have the script that is called Player Health. And chances are, if you click on your player, and we'll just want to double check this, if you click on your player right now, chances are, in all of the inspector stuff for your player, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see Player Health listed in there. Now, what we want to do is if you don't have that script on there, it's a good time for you to grab that out of your scripts folder and drag it in there. If you don't have it in your scripts folder, you're joining us a little bit later, you didn't import all of these features, I'll have a link in the description that you can actually download that from. And then you'll be able to get an import package for the player health. So once you get that into your scripts folder, make sure it's added on to your player. And from here, we're going to make some changes now. I'm going to go ahead and lock this just to make it a little bit easier to work around. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my UI. And in my UI, I've got a few things that I'm going to drag in here and update. For instance, my slider is actually my health bar. So the whole slider feature here, I'm going to take that and drag it in to that script. Now, by chance, um, since I've already got one created, they're already populated with things. Yours probably says none right now, um, but we're going to get that in there. Health text, I'm going to go, grab, go ahead and grab my health text and drag that in there. Okay, And the death UI, that will be the next tutorial that we actually cover because now that our character will take damage, we'll be able to uh, go ahead and, um, and uh, queue up that death screen here. So now, I've got those all populated. And uh, the next thing is, and the final thing I guess to make this all work is, we need something for our player to interact with so that he takes damage. Let's add in a saw. Um, I've got a saws category that's already created. All right? And just to remind myself of what's going on here, I'm going to go into my objects and I'm going to go to saw and I'm going to drag that into the saw so it becomes a child of my saws category. And then if I need to, I go ahead and sort this so I bring it to the foreground so that we can see it. Now, if you want it in front of the platform, put it on the foreground. If you want it behind the platform, so we can put it to the midground. And now we can go ahead and transform this in here. So let's go ahead and zoom out. 
and there we go and now with the saw selected and go ahead and transform this somewhere and let's bring it over right next to our character so we don't have to go very far to interact with this and I'm just gonna bring it up here and put it pretty close and you can see how with the mid ground selected he drops in right behind the platform there alright now let's assume that it's like mounted right on the edge of the platform there um, next thing on my saw I wanna go ahead and I wanna create a circle collider so I'm gonna type in circle um, let's try spelling that correctly circle there we go and circle collider 2d let's add that on there and now it's gonna be a trigger because it's going to interact with our player and the next thing is I want to go ahead and name this saw saw so I want to give it a tag here um, if you go into your tags list chances are you don't have the saw if you do you just go ahead and select that if you don't we can go to add tag and we've seen this before with our layers uh, let's go in and add a layer on and that's where I would type in the uh, the saw layer or spikes or whatever it is that I'm going to be interacting with we'll see that in the future tutorials here so this process is going to kind of repeat itself in a number of different ways with our player health and we'll get into more detail that with that in future uh, tutorials and I'm just going to cancel out of that for now because I already got the saw one in there now I go back to my saw that I was working with and I make sure that the tag is on there so it's a saw and now the last thing is right now if I push play uh, my saw is not really going to be doing a whole lot of anything. It's just going to be kind of sitting there. And that doesn't make much sense because we want our saw to actually rotate. Now I'm going to have to drop the saw script onto this to actually get it rotating in real time here. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. And I'm still on the saw. And I'm going to go to my scripts. So I go into my scripts and then I'll add in the saw script. Now if you don't have that in your um, assets right now, I'll drop this into the description too so you can download that. In fact, we'll just make it one download so you get both scripts at the same time, the player health one and the saw. Okay, so um, I've got the saw script on there. I've got the tag. Everything should be all set. Uh, the circle collider is now a trigger so it should interact with my player and here we go. We'll test this out. We go to play. We drop in here and we go. Oh, and it takes a lot of life very quickly. I mean, super quick like. So I run in there and it's like, whoa, and he's dead. Now you won't have the dying animation, so fret not. Um, but it does take down our life very quickly. Let's make some adjustments to that in the meantime here. So this is the first time we're going to go into the script to make some adjustments. I'm going to double click on the player health. So I'm in my scripts folder. Double click on player health. And that's going to open mono development here. And I'm just going to resize this so we can see what's going on. Um, and get this nice and centered. There we go. Now in mono develop, I've got my player health script open. If I happen to have any other scripts open, I'll see the tabs for them at the top, and I've got quite a few open here. Now, in here you can see that there's a tag for the saw, and then you can see that there's a health bar value, and it minuses when you make contact with this tag. So it happens very quickly. I mean, like, probably too fast. So let's slow that down so that it's fewer frames taken away. Okay. Now we go ahead and command S this, or you can go up to file and save. I go back to the game, and I'm going to go in here and test this out. And now I make contact with the saw, and it animates a lot slower. Okay. Now I can change those values to whatever I want, always making sure that I save the script and um, put that to where it needs to be. Okay. If I want to make this even faster so that like it's a one hit and he's out kind of thing, I can up the frames and go from there. So those are adjustments that you can make. Now, you can see though, with this, everything is in working order. I've got a character making contact with something. My slider is going down. We can see the background and the percentage actually registers with what's being taken away. So this all looks really good at this point. Um, the next step for all of this is we want to add on a death screen to this. And many people are going to wonder, well, how can I apply that same feature where the saw takes it away my life to the spikes taking away my life? Because right now I fall through the spikes, there's no collider on there, and uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. If I uh, drop down into the acid at the bottom, 
I don't think I've got anything on here right now. All it does is respawn. So that's a functionality that you'll want on other things. And believe it or not, we already know the skills. We just basically have to apply them to that object. So thanks for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye-bye.